Hey guys, so today we're gonna be using a product that I'm really excited about. Um, I've been really excited about this brand ever since they came out with the very first tool um, that kind of blew up on the internet. Uh, the Revlon a Volumizer, the One Step Volumizer, I think it's called. Um, I have one of my own, uh, but it kind of melted because it gets that hot. So I've been looking to buy another one and they came out with their One Style Plus, I think it's called. I have it downstairs. Um, I'm going to do a video on that one as well. But recently I've been seeing people, uh, use another one that came out and I feel like it was very much under the radar somehow, but I managed to get a little peek of what it looked like online on YouTube. I've seen other people review it and I was just way too excited that I ordered it overnight. So it is the Revlon <clears throat> One Step Root Booster. Basically, this guy is supposed to be so much thinner that it's able to go like right up to your root. So I've seen a lot of girls with curly hair really love this just because it gets so close the barrel is like half the size of the original it gets so close to the root that it actually manages to straighten it pretty decently i don't have curly hair so there's that i don't have to worry about that thank goodness but it's a one and a half inch universal rounded head it has ceramic coated barrel it is a ceramic coated barrel and uh I guess the little prongs on it is frizz reducing detangler bristles. I read that strange. I'm so sorry. Okay, so I'm excited to open this up. I just really haven't even opened it. It literally just came this morning and I was just like, ah, I can't wait to wash my hair and do a makeup just to try this out. <laughs> so I had to do all that before I could get my hands on it. So here it is so far. I love that these come with just like the brush like it's just this like there isn't any other added stuff you have to put together and I say that because I got the Dyson for Christmas and I if you want a video on my honest review on the Dyson which is very controversial which is why I kind of am scared to put it online I don't want people hating me because I feel so strongly about the Dyson but if you want me to review the Dyson, I could totally do that. There are just so many attachments to the Dyson and it just kind of gets a little confusing for me uh, because of my strong feelings about the Dyson. So I love that it's just this. This is what we're working with. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and we're going to try it out. All right, something that kind of sucks about my outlet situation is that I can't have this light on and that light on at the same time uh, if I want to use one of the outlets. So I definitely had to turn that light off and move this one a little bit centered. So I hope that that's not too much of a bother. bother. Woo! But ew, don't you hate those little plastic things on your shirts? Um, also, don't mind my foundation. I did not know that I had this foundation in my collection, the Screen Queen, and I got really excited and tried it out, and this color is way too light on me, and I have a suspicion that it's expired, so don't mind my foundation. I just wanted to try something new. <laughs> so it's actually been a while since I've last been on YouTube. Uh, I think the last time I posted anything was my Transylvania arctic fox dye video and ever since then i dyed my hair black and then it faded really badly to like a really muddy gray and then i dyed the parts that were a muddy gray like this right here the mids and ends i dyed it pink and then it turned purple so i just wanted to give a quick update on what my hair is doing because i know that it's a little confusing what's going on here um, I do want to try like color oops in my hair and see what the hell would come out. I think that would be so funny. I feel like it's going to be a mess considering everything I've done to my hair, the red, the black dyes, the temporary black dyes, permanent, pink. Um, so that's what's going on with my hair. So let's just get on to the star of the show. All right. I kind of just want to see how hot it gets. Okay. 
That gets very, very, very hot. Um, I could say that off the bat. It's kind of as hot as the other one is, so that kind of sucks. <laughs> Just because I know that the other one is damaging and the other one was literally so hot it melted the little bristles. So I hope that doesn't happen with this guy. So let me just go ahead and section off my hair and I'll be ready to start this off. Okay, so I'm gonna split my hair in half. Put half of my hair up and away. And to the sides, just like that. So I'm kind of nervous because of how hot this guy gets. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just start. I think I'm gonna start on the low setting and see how good that does. And then if it just takes too long, I'm gonna go to high and then see how fast that goes. So I'm gonna start with low. very cute oh i like that it's a lot of volume for the bottom of my hair you see the difference how like flat it is and then all of a sudden we get a lot of volume i really like that uh at the very end there i did the cool shot or that's what they call it for the dyson but yeah i did the cool setting um for the ends just to set it in place Wow, I really, really like that. And I did it on a low setting and I don't think it took too long. You guys saw it in real time how long that took and it did not take too long. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do this half of my head on the high setting and then see how long that takes. I'm so scared, I don't wanna do high. <laughs> Something that I really appreciate is how big the barrel is. This guy is so long that as you can see, like I'm able to get literally the whole half side of my head into it and just dry like that. Like it just, it just takes up my whole head, a whole half of my head. So I really like that. So far my hair feels so soft. It does not feel like it's damaged at all whatsoever. Um, 
I think it flipped this way because of the way I was doing it. Um, I don't mind that. I don't find this bottom half of my hair to be that important to like flip and stuff like that. I find that the top is what's what's most important. So I'm gonna do the other side of my head. I'm probably gonna do it on the low setting because the hot the high setting is extremely hot. I definitely felt that on this side of my head. Like my ears are red because of how hot it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side on the low setting and then I'll be right back with some more thoughts if I have any. Okay. So the side is dry. Look at the little volume at the bottom of my hair. Isn't it so cute? It's it's adorable. I really, really like it. I will say two things. The hair gets so hot. It gets so hot to the touch. Um, so you do have to be careful to not burn yourself somehow by your own hair because it gets that hot. And um, something that might concern some people is that smoke does kind of like come off of your hair. Um, for some people that might mean that their hair is burning or it's drying their hair out. So I thought that was a good thing to say. Personally, I don't really have an opinion on that. Um, I don't know what it means when my hair does that. So I don't really have an opinion on that, but let's turn around and see what the back looks like. It's even bouncy, right? I like it. So I'm just going to put the rest of my hair down. I think I'm going to do the rest of my hair down just because the, the barrel is so long that it takes up so much space that I don't really need to worry about doing smaller sections in order for it to get all of my hair to dry. It really just does get to all of the hair because it's so long, which is such a plus for this guy. I love it. So I'm going to continue the rest of my hair and I'll be back with my thoughts. <sighs> okay. So this guy, I just wanted to chime in here and say this guy gets so hot, <laughs> so hot that the heat from the barrel as I'm doing my front bangs actually goes into my eye and it's making me cry. It gets really, really, really hot. So I've been using it on a low heat setting because the high heat setting is just impossible, all right? <laughs> but I'm gonna keep going. I just want to chime in and say that and uh, I'll be back when I'm actually done. <laughs> Something that I'm doing is I keep the hair almost like a hot roller up on my bangs just to kind of give it like the soup. Yeah, just wanted to show that. So I did on this side. All right, I just wanted to show that. I thought that was a really cool way of like getting the soup, kind of using it like as a hot roller and having it sit there for a little while. Um, but this is how my hair turned out. I'll definitely turn around and show you guys from the back. Yeah, that's how it's turned out. Let me turn on my light now that I'm not using this and I will give you my thoughts on this product. All right, so I have it back here. I'm done using it. Uh, just a couple of thoughts, just because, like I said, I did see other people using it and um, it's interesting having used it now, having listened to what they said about their experience. Oh my God, my eyelash was stuck to my hair. Um, it's interesting having to listen to some of the things that they said about the product versus how I'm feeling about it. Um, and a couple of takeaways that I have are, um, the one thing being that it doesn't grip as well as the one step volumizer did. Um, these little prongs, they just don't grip as much. They The ones that are missing are the ones that had the pink tips on them. And I think those were really good. Those acted like a hairbrush. And those really grasped the hair and let these guys like really make it silky smooth. So this one is missing that. Therefore, it's really hard to get like a good grip. So like when I go into my hair, I kind of have to hold it and do this. Like really push against it 
for the hair to go in and then swoop it out um that's one thing uh another thing is my hair doesn't actually feel as soft as the one step volumizer makes it out to be um the one step volumizer makes my hair so silky smooth and it just bouncy and i feel like this guy because it doesn't have the width of it it doesn't make my hair it doesn't give my hair the volume or the blowout that that one gives me like really big like swoopy pieces this one gives like as you could see like little curls and that's cute too but i kind of preferred the big blowout with the big swoopy pieces over this um if you like this if you like that it gives like a curl um then totally this is your your peanut butter and jam definitely um but not not it's not exactly like so much better the result than uh the one set volumizer other than that i really really like it i think it came out very very nice um yeah i think it did a fine job and uh it didn't take too long to dry the highest heat setting is what's going to get you dry the fastest but it definitely burns so i did it kind of switching off between high and low um the low heat setting does dry just as fine it just does a fine job you don't have to go to high um personally i really like the low heat setting so i just kind of went back and forth how much i could take the high heat setting and i would switch off to the low so yeah um there's nothing much else i could say my hair looks fine it feels a little dry it's definitely more curly than um uh, <laughs> than the volumizer does um but yeah that's it interesting though both sides look kind of different they look kind of different i don't know how i did that but that's okay so that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video please subscribe if you find this kind of content interesting i think i'm gonna do the one step plus next and i'm probably gonna color oops my hair uh color it some fun color i'm trying to like see if i can go gray again because i love gray i always go back to gray hair um and yeah if you kind of like that content go ahead and subscribe like this video if it was helpful at all i hope it was it was my first time so maybe i need a little bit more experience with the product but that's my first impressions of it all right well, have a nice day guys bye